Hey guys, this is Wiz and welcome back to another big PP guide for the Ultimate Iron Man out there. Today we're going to be talking about how to do construction with limestone and a flam tea bag. So how this is going to go is I'm going to work from the bottom starting from the bare, bare requirements, 5 construction all the way up to 59 and then we're going to go through the different tactics and things that can save you time and money and all that type of jazz as we progress through the video. But to start off, you're going to need a few basic requirements. You're going to need 40 magic for the teleporter house and 5 construction to make a decorative rock in your garden. You're also going to need the Shades of Morton quest completed so that we can actually get the flam tear bag and use the minigame teleport. So I'm not going to explain how to get the flam tear bag, but this video is going to show you how it's useful. Um, it might take you an hour or two to actually get it once you've done the Shades of Morton quest, but it's going to explain you how it's used and so you actually do go out and get it and start your construction grind. Um, other things you might need, uh, you're definitely going to need your house in Tavoli, and you're going to have to start the giant dwarf quest, and you have to finish the fishing contest quest. And besides that, it's extremely recommended to have a full graceful outfit, and just minimize your weight as much as possible, because if you're doing this as efficiently as possible without any breaks and any stoppage in between, you will eventually run out of run energy at the start unless you have the Mauritania hard diaries done and you've got the uh, level 3 legs for the Bergderot teleports. You won't run out of run energy then, but every other strategy except for that, you're going to need lots of legs. So to start off, we're going to be making uh, decorative rocks in your garden from level 5 construction. So right next to your main portal, you need to have one garden for your portal and then you need a second garden. We're going to be putting decorative rocks in here. Um, but place it right next to your portal and from your house, basically the strategy, if if you have a teleport, a minigame teleport available, always use the minigame teleport as soon as it's off cooldown. But besides that, whenever your minigame teleport's on cooldown, um, if you have the giant dwarf quest started you can use the rail cart and if you have the fishing contest completed you can actually get down into this area and we're going to talk to the cart conductor pay 100 coins for a train ticket and then use the train cart it's going to take us into Keldegrim and it's about a 14 second train trip I believe um, so just wait till you get here and then you can usually do all of these steps in one click so click up to the stairs here and we're going to be making our way over to the construction shop in Keldegrim. Uh, another couple of uh, things of advice is have Runelight or a similar plugin uh, client. So you can have a little bit faster world hopping and also screen markers. I've got two screen markers set up here. You'll see a green one and a blue one. Um, but they're basically just used to point out the location of the limestone bricks in the two different shops that we're using. Uh, might save you a couple of seconds per trip and the purpose of the flam tear bag is it allows us to store 60 limestone bricks so 60 plus our 20 in our inventory that's going to give us 80 per trip or 1.6 thousand construction xp uh, per inventory trip that we do another thing i forgot to mention is you need 20 uh empty inventory slots you also need the, obviously the flam tear bag coins to buy the limestone bricks and you need a saw and a hammer so uh, that takes up another four slots and then you need teleport to house runes so you can fill up your rune pouch um, you can only have uh, you, you can take uh, one inventory slot if you've got a rune pouch you can also use a staff of air I don't need a drum and stuff you can use a staff of air if, if you need to save another inventory slot but I've actually got these runes out just to make up space for uh, 20 because I want exactly 20 slots in my inventory and we're going to be buying four lots of 20 limestone bricks so you want to try and find a world with a thousand uh, stock and you're going to buy two lots of 20 limestone bricks uh, because if they're running low on stock the price of the bricks is going to go up exponentially it's going to cost a lot but generally it should be about 1.8 GP per XP um, if you're buying uh, two two lots of 20 from a fully stocked shop and uh, and hopping uh, between worlds so you just hop uh, to one world and buy another two lots of 20 and then you'll be good to go your flam tear bag will be full and then you can teleport back to your house once you teleport back to your house you need to get into building mode so the quickest way to do that is to go to your options house options and then click on the building mode on 
<laughs> and that'll put you straight into building mode. I'm obviously taking these slower than it should be just to explain it but you should be able to get this down to a very fine art and then we're going to come up here and we're going to build a decorative rock so you can press 2 to build a decorative rock and then remove and press 1 to, to select yes and you're going to go through the whole inventory it's going, it's going to take four four rocks because you obviously take five five limestone bricks per decorative rock so once you've built four rocks then what you're going to do is you're going to empty your flam tier bag and you can right click on your flam tier bag empty and then press one or two and then your inventory will fill up again with your limestone bricks and obviously you keep on doing this until your inventory and your bag are empty and then you're going to go and get some more limestone bricks so i'll finish off these last three and then we'll go back to shade I'll, I'll show you how to do the shades of morton route and if your pog is enough to get the hard diaries done of mauritania and you can get the legs that teleport you straight there unlimited times then all you're going to be doing is using your legs to teleport to shades of morton but whenever you're uh, teleport is up your minigame teleport you're going to teleport to Shades of Morton and you don't want to make the mistake of going AFK once you select to teleport there because as soon as you land in Shades of Morton um, you're going to start getting attacked by the Shades and you can die another thing I haven't mentioned yet is the flam tier bag is lost on death so it disappears no matter what happens it's just gone um, so I've actually it's happened to me before where I AFK'd and lost the bag. So you don't want to teleport in and die. Um, and you want to try and get into a house that is empty of shades. But you're going to buy buy another 40, uh, sorry, 80 limestone bricks. But 40 from each world, of course. So buy your 40 and then teleport uh, hob worlds. And obviously in the Shades of Morton, you need to make sure that you use one of the Serum 208s on Razumi. And if he's afflicted, even though you've used it, all you have to do is click on him and he'll be unafflicted. So buy another 40 and then your flame tier pouch will be full and then teleport back. So whenever your melee game teleport is up, you need to be going to Shades of Morton because it saves the running trip of going to Keldegrim. And every time you come back to your house, obviously going to building mode and you're going to just keep on making your decorative rocks so you're going to keep on doing this up till 59 construction once you get to 59 you can build a game games room and you can start making uh, limestone attack stones so basically what that does is instead of costing five limestone bricks per per build it costs 10 to make an attack stone and it effectively halves the amount of clicks that you're going to need to to empty out your inventory so keep on doing that until you've emptied your your flam tier bag. Um, and next next option I'm going to show you for your routes is going to shave off about four or five seconds from running through Tavoli into Keldegrim. So what you can do is if you've got 50 construction, you can make a portal chamber. And if you've done the Varrock medium diaries, you can redirect your uh, your, your Varrock teleport to go to the grand exchange so if you've got a teleport portal right next to your your games room or your garden wherever you're building you can one click straight into the grand exchange and then almost one click uh it's it's two clicks up into the trap door just left click on the trap door you run straight there and then you get straight into a train to keldegrim so this saves you about four seconds per trip, but it also means less clicks. So if you're not being 100% efficient, it's going to save you even more clicks. And it's also going to save you 100 GP per trip. So it, it will effectively just reduce the um, cost of your construction XP by a little bit. Um, but then basically, once once you go through the Grand Exchange, we're just going to go the same route back to the Keldergrim shop. And you're just going to buy another 80 bricks and teleport to your house um, the next thing I'm going to show you once we get back to the house I'll show you the attack stone method and that's pretty much all you're going to be using from 59 to 99 is the it is the attack stone so I'm actually using this running method from from the grand exchange through the Kelder groom and the minigame teleport um, every 20 minutes I'm actually going to be doing that to 83 construction 
Um, and once once I hit 83, I'm going to stop there because I'll have most of the stuff I need. I'm not going to do any more construction until I get the hard diaries from Mauritania done. Um, if you're using the Keldergrim or the Grand Exchange method, you can expect with a attack stone at 59 construction, you can expect about 33k XP an hour. But with the decorative rocks, if you haven't got 59 construction yet, you're probably going to get about 20k XP an hour. Um, so instead of doing the decorative rocks, I'll show you what you're going to do instead. If I delete my garden. Now, this is the optimal setup unless you've got the Mauritania hard diaries done. You need like 70 prayer, 70 defense. That's quite a hard diary to do on an ultimate Iron Man. But if you don't have that done, as long as you've got your full graceful, your flam tier bag, and 20 free inventory slots, you have your portal here, your stone, your your attack stone space here, and then a grand exchange portal right next to it. It only takes two attack stones to empty your inventory. And while you're actually removing, or sorry, while you're building the second attack stone, you can then get through the menu of emptying your bag. And of course you want to be using your number one and number two keys to select the through the chat options and the build options. And this can get um, a lot more quick, the, the quicker you get. You can get your trips down to about two and a half minutes through uh, the minigame teleport and about two minutes 50 through the Grand Exchange. Building your attack stones and with your 33k XP an hour, unless you've done the Mauritania diaries. If you've done the Mauritania diaries, you can push up to about 50k XP an hour because it's a very short trip every time. You'll never run out of run energy. If you end up doing uh, five or six trips to Grand Exchange without any loss of efficiency or any game ticks miss with your one tick and two tick and three tick and whatever you like to do in your spare time, you will eventually run out of run energy, um, but you can maintain a significant amount of trips without any need for any stamina potions or anything like that. Basically, work on your 50 construction to get the portal room and your Varric Diaries. Another important tip for uh, Ultimate Iron Man is if you work on your uh, Entrana quests first, then you won't need to worry about losing any of your items having to get back to Entrana. And if you do the balloon quest, I forget what it's called at the moment, but the quest to upload the balloon routes, um, you actually need the Castle Wars balloon route to do your Ardoin medium clues uh, diaries, and you need the uh, sawmill balloon route unlocked to complete your Varrock medium diaries. So to get your Varrock medium diaries in the Grand Exchange teleport unlocked, you need to go through Entrana and do the sawmill balloon route as soon as you do that quest i'd recommend to up, uh, unlock all of the balloon routes for the, there's only four of them and they're not too hard they only take a minute but if you leave it till later on your inventory is going to fill up with combat items and you won't be able to get back through to enchanter so focus on getting your varic diaries done and 50 construction and then once you get to 59 you're going to be doing the optimal method of construction until you can be bothered doing your Mauritania hard diaries. And that's about it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun.